Hello everybody, this is St. Donald Banks coming at you with a new theory video. Um, I did not come up with this theory. I did edit it a little bit from what the original creator Omega Spartan 256 off Reddit said, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, did the West and East Coast Brotherhood integrate a collapsed Caesar's Legion? So, in the show, we see the Brotherhood of Steel members have names such as Maximus, Titus, Thaddeus, and Quintus. Very Roman-esque names. In Fallout 1 and Fallout 3, members would have had either regular American-sounding names or older names like Rhombus in Fallout 1 or Asher in Fallout 3. They weren't ever Latin or Roman. And they always would have been uh, some other kind of languages like Greek or Sumerian or Persian. Now, the Brotherhood might have integrated members of the Legion but gotten rid of their disdain for technology. Or maybe the Legion members didn't have a choice if Caesar's Legion collapsed. So within Fallout New Vegas, there's only high-ranking Centurions and veterans who could wield advanced technology. Most of the Squires in uh, the Fallout TV show have weaker and less advanced gear. So this is kind of a parallel. I know the Brotherhood always did this, but this is a parallel between the Legion and the Brotherhood of Steel is the allocation of technology for higher ranks, so that they have in common. They also apply more religious and ritualistic activities, such as uh, when Knight Titus branded uh, Squire Maximus, and all the other pseudo-religious customs that we see in the show. This could be some way of reinstalling the zealotry that the legionaries upheld while serving Caesar. So, Knight Titus even says that the Brotherhood of Steel will hang Maximus by his lungs, which is very Legion-esque. Again, that's super, super gory, and the Brotherhood has never really been known to do that. I feel like a more Brotherhood thing in Fallout 3 and 4 is just shoot them and be done with it. But nope, this Brotherhood will hang you by your lungs, which is also called a Blood Angel. Also, Elder Quintus is 79 years old. It is possible, if this theory was correct, me personally, I don't think it is, but he could have been a prior uh, frumentari in the Legion. He even refers to the faction as a Legion of the Brotherhood. Also, just like how the Legion erased identities of tribes it would conquer, the Brotherhood erased the Legion, but only in name. They retained a lot of what the Legion would know for, or at least would very likely accept the customs. So the Legion was a militaristic faction with a lot of the same authoritarian tendencies. A lot of their culture would make for good recruits for the Brotherhood. They have a strict chain of command, they have duty, the young men were taught early to be warriors, to be not afraid, and to be cruel and unsympathetic to outsiders. Also, final note is we've never, ever seen the Brotherhood Steel flag and decals painted in yellow and red. Other variants like blue or white, or gold, black, brown, white, red, black, red, sure. But we've never specifically seen yellow, red. Why would they introduce this sudden change when they were never introduced in either the West nor the East Coast for nearly 200 years? Now, again, I don't personally buy into this theory. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, but if it were true, I would imagine that the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel integrated members of, I don't know, maybe fleeing legionaries from the collapsed Caesar's Legion after Caesar died of a brain tumor, but that's just speculation about speculation. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this quick little video today. Uh, I'm going to try to get more videos out, um, probably about Fallout, Halo, uh, all that sort of jazz you guys don't care. You'll see. If you subscribe, you'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is St. Donald Bates. Signing out. Degenerates like you belong on a cross.